Hey, this is Parcival for Forex Militia. This is my weekly outlook uh, for the week of uh, September the 20th to, what is it, the 28th to the 24th. Okay, so generally looking at some of the Forex pairs and uh, some of the market. Just the S&P 500. Some commodities also. All right. So what do we have? What do we have here? This is the dollar index. DXY. <coughs> and as you can see, it has come up into this area of consolidation. And it is actually it is long. So basically, if the dollar is looking long, most likely all of the pairs that are dollar inclusive will most likely be going down but as you can see here on the statistic this has bullish momentum here but you get this divergent activity here right you see the from right there you see you got that I guess I have to put that make that another color make that yellow just a little bit all right so anyway as you can see you can see the diversion activity and <coughs> this of course going into with divergent uh, activity or uh, a bearish divergence going into a resistance most likely in the future the dollar is going to fall all right so here we go over to the S&P 500 and on the S&P 500 you got that straight up this this is the weekly chart which is phenomenal quite amazing and, and as you can see here is an area of consolidation so most likely what's going to happen is if we get a large pullback it will pull back into about 4200 about 42 yeah around that area if you get a large one and so that will most likely go from September into October. Uh, two of the, well, we're in the worst months of the year, August, September, October. So that's that. On gold, gold basically is right now at a support line at 1750. And that right there is, could actually take this higher, but there's a zone. Uh, I f if I go a little bit further back there's this zone so in this zone being on the daily that's that on the weekly you can see it a bit better it just goes into that zone and it might actually pop out a level of consolidation alright over here we've got Bitcoin and Bitcoin basically has I just want to show you this Bitcoin has fallen, right? It rallied, but it rallied back up into the 618, and now it's basically looks it looks like it's falling again because this is a uh, bearish engulfing. So I would say that if it's going to fall, it's going to fall back into the 618, which is at 38159. Oil, oil is long. We have this. It, well, what I have here is it looks like it's going long. It hasn't gone long just yet because the uh, my super trend, which is what I, I trade, um, hasn't actually crossed over. So it it would it would be in in a true long if it goes above seventy six forty one. Okay. So, but altogether, oil is long. And this is the loony. This is, of course, after oil, you have to go into the loony because it's all, uh, it's correlated. <coughs> all right, so the loony is going long. 
it is even though it's below this 100 um, you've got the super trend the key Jun Sin and the SSL calling this long on the weekly so long trades uh, short trades over here on the euro super trend SSL and the key Jun Sin it's all below it's still above here but this is more of a short trend bearish signal uh, um, against a long term long trend so short term long short term short but a long term long long term long over here on the pound and we have this all the short term going short most likely it'll fall all the way back down into this 100 and then bounce off and over at this level also is a this 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 orange line is a weekly line and there is a little area right here that is consolidation so it should fall back into there on the Gepi it is short short term short long term long once again it might actually fall back down into this area which is a weekly which is 145.75 <coughs> Okay. On the dollar yen, this has been basically being this is more of a flat. I would say trendless because you can see how this is just all wicks up up and down up and down. It's pretty much um staying flat. Now, that being said, if you go back to the dollar, looks like the dollar is actually long, but long being bearishly divergent so most likely this will probably go up it'll go long for a while there is momentum to actually say that this will go long on the statistic so long if you wanna if there's a target there's a target up here at 111 I would say 10 111 25 alright on the euro pound this is short but this is short for just a little while because there is divergence if you want to just line this up line it up with that line that up with that right over here yeah over here yep. and as you can see it's continuously going lower right see that that's going lower that's going higher so that's bullish divergence and the Aussie Kiwi uh, oi this is going lower but right now it has hit 103 1.03 and this is uh, support so it's hit this monthly support and from here uh, I, I cannot say where it actually would go we'll have to see if there is what I'm going to be looking for is divergence now okay that's something I just took a look at since this is divergence what I would what I would be looking for is for that to pop up off of that support line and move back into this area right here and as you can see there is a weekly uh, resistance line here between the 150 and the 161 so right up here in the zone you can, you can see this going straight across so if that basically pops off of there we would be looking for an engulfing an inside bar that might actually uh, you know a, uh, uh, a bullish candlestick pattern okay but right now it all looks like it's just going down but it's it's at a support line and as you can see it, it touched that line a couple of times all right all right so that's it for my weekly outlook so I'm gonna now I'm gonna promote my trade miner I started this at the beginning of the year and right now I'm looking at the euro the, the loony which I did take a position on already and I wanted to show you what I what I did here. There we go. And I'm on I'm on Trading View. 
and right now the position is in uh, is in the green right and as you can see it's an 80 percent accuracy for 12 years in this time frame the 20th to the 28th so that's about one week a week and a day I believe if you look here right to this day over here to the 28th so um, we'll be looking to trade that for the next eight days and see exactly at this time come out here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade this in such a way where I'm going to trade one one half of this 20,000 uh, units uh, blindly just taking the blind signals and then I'm going to trade the other half with technical analysis to see which one actually which one actually comes out better to see if technical trading this technically comes out better than trading it blindly all right and for bonus this is for the Europe the uh, the, the Eurozone people um, we have a stock here from season acts Hanover Rook I guess it's Rook uh, and it's a hundred percent that in this time frame for 10 years it it goes up about uh, uh, that says 97 percent but it's really about 11 11.4.04 percent and the median return is about 10.75 so it's in that range uh, the thing is if uh, what what this is saying is if this thing was uh, if you got this return over the whole year it would be 97 point uh, 93 which is like a hundred percent gain so that's pretty interesting and as you can see you can see all this all the stats here so I'll, I will be putting a link to trade miner and to season X in the description it's an affiliate link click on it if you want to support the channel and with that I will say knowledge is power be power hungry and power to the people this is Parsifal signing out